Hey there, welcome back. This is Charles. We are working in QuickBooks 2016 and we we are going through the easy step interview. Now we are already through part we have already gone through part one of this interview. Let's go ahead and start where we left off so that you can see how to go ahead and complete the easy step interview. This is the last little section of the easy step interview and we are going to look at the charts of accounts that QuickBooks built for us. Of course this is where we left and when you click next it takes us to can can go back a bit. This is where we this is where we left and it's we are going to be looking at the accounts that QuickBooks developed for us and those are the ones we are going to be seeing in the charts of our accounts. Let's go let's go ahead and click next at the bottom here and the first thing QuickBooks wants wants to know is what date would you like to start tracking your your finances the date to start tracking your finances now you can start at the beginning of your of your physical year remember our physical year was the the month for the physical year for the big be the beginning month for the physical year was january 1st so you can start tracking your finances on first on that first january of that same fiscal year that we we put in let's assume that our fiscal year is 2024 and we are going to assume that the year is going to start the 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 month for that year is starting first january meaning it will be ending 31st december 2024 and if you happen to start maybe first july whichever financial year you are going to be using or whichever month you are going to be selecting just like how it is for the ugandan government for for them they start july 1st and they end 30th june as their financial year so you can begin anywhere you can even begin in this month of feb to start tracking your finances so whichever whichever year that you are going to be selecting it's up to you but i suggest we go with first january 2024 or we start with the the year the the period the, the month we put at the beginning of of this of the the, the other first part of the easy step so just just like the way you are seeing it here we are seeing that in this year 2024 we are in feb feb february which means the year has already moved if at all we are going to use the beginning year to be first january 2024 so the the thing is here we are seeing that even though right now we are in february but if we are to because now we are in feb and because now we are going to be in feb and if we start if we start our financial in january it means when you are putting in the transactions we have to go back and put in even the transactions that happened in january what that means is that if you start if you say this is my financial fiscal year and you don't start from january it means for you just proceed from feb and just go onwards it means you're going to be having inaccurate information because your financial statements are going to be for only one year but those information they are going to be correct or wrong based on the information you have provided in the in the system so even if you start in july but your financial year is supposed to be first january 2024 to to december you have to go back and put in that information that belongs from the period you were not recording hope that one is clear because all the reports they are only going to be accurate basing on the information that you have you have provided so take care of that if you decide that he, so for us we have decided that we are going to be starting first january so so on that you have to make a decision on which one you are going to to work on quickbooks will still let you put in something prior to whatever date you chose it just has to to have a start date i'm going to leave mine at the beginning of the physical year that is january and click next so it's at the beginning of the year click next and when we do that now we can be able to see the income and expense accounts that quickbooks set up for us based on how we answered all the questions in the easy step 
interview. When you look down the wrist, if you just look down the wrist, the ones that have a check mark over here, these check marks you are seeing here, those are the ones that QuickBooks thinks you want to, to use. If you happen to, to be here, let's say on, if you happen to be on this and you are trying to look at one of these and you can say maybe if, if let's say you look at interest income or if you are looking at proceeds from sale of other income if you are seeing that this you may need it in your income statement but the quickbooks has not ticked it you can also check it by just clicking once like that you can also click like that and you keep adding those that you think they are going to be useful but me i'm not going to to do that let me uncheck and un un uncheck them and I click next. So you've seen these are the expenses and all the accounts that the QuickBooks thinks that we are going to use. It has done it for us and we can just go ahead and click next. And that's what we call the charts of account. And that charts of account, we shall talk about it in the, in the in, in model three and i'm going to just go ahead and click next so that we finish that up and now it says congratulations and i'm going to click go to setup it says congratulations it means we have finished the easy step interview but now we are not total we are not yet we are not yet totally set up the, the company file we have got like 80 percent of our company file setup there are some things we are going to have to do like change change some preferences and things like that but for the most most part of the company file we have got our company file back we have done at least most of what is supposed to be done so we click on go go to setup it may take some time to load so as we are waiting for it to load we've seen the 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 easy step interview and we've gone through it and we've done what we could until we reached that point where we now seeing that dialog box we are seeing there is a new dialog box that has popped up and we need to see the things that are within those items but at, at, the, at the other point we could also just leave this and we just start working with the QuickBooks, we just put in transactions. Though we have completed over 80%, but at least we can go ahead and start. But before we start, we need to we needed to first go to the setup and we finalize some of these details, as we said, the preferences and all that, so that we can have our company 100% set. So we have seen the, the this screen, and it asks you if you want to add people if you want to add the people and it is and most of the times the, the the people they want you to add those are the customers because those are the people that you are going to do business with it asks you if you are if you want to add your products and services of course we need to it asks you if you want to add your bank accounts you will want to add all of that because we need them but we will go ahead and do that a little bit later i'm going to go ahead and just close that window right here how do we close the window if you are to if you are to close that this little window that has popped up we go ahead to this cross x sign here that says cross we are not going if, if because if you proceed from this point you you and you press the other x you are seeing up up there it will be closing quickbooks but we'll close this first one so we have actually Cross the that we said we shall come back to that in a later modules as we shall see now in the newer versions in the newer versions after closing that window the quickbooks may ask you to go ahead and sign up into your company file and if that's the that's the case then you can go ahead and do that and we'll just go ahead and put in your your passwords there and you click continue and you'll be able to come to the home screen you'll go ahead and put in your passwords and then go ahead and sign in and then it's going to actually put you back to our home screen just like you like the way you are seeing it here if you get the new feature any new feature because these new versions they keep 
adding cert certain things that are not there because you may you, you may sign in and you still have haven't actually reached to the home page they may give you something like tour that you may see right somewhere there on your screen that you if you want to do a, a tour within quickbooks to see what is there then you can also do that or you can close it and you go straight to the to the you go straight to the home home page as we are seeing it here but in these older versions most of those things they are not there so those things of tour what they are not there as you are seeing so having reached at that point of the home page you you can note there are a couple of things that you are going to notice and you see if you if maybe you there are certain things that are that may pop up if let's say like that tour I've, I've talked about you can just click anywhere and that screen can actually disappear anyway on this on this home screen then that will be able to to disappear but we shall explain more when you go to those newer versions i'm giving you that because we may be having someone may be having quickbooks and they just follow your tutorials and they they, they might be seeing different things and they start wondering why but remember these versions they keep on changing they keep bringing in some new new things now having seen that why don't we go ahead and now head over to the fourth video in the in this module and we talk about a little bit more on looking at some of the options for set setting up the company name setting up the the the, the name of your company file and address and all that because I had promised you that when if if, if in the start we we had somewhere where we've been putting in the company name, business name, tax ID, but I told you those some of them were optional. So how can we add them up here after we have fi finalized the is a step interview? That's what we are going to be seeing, and we are going to go ahead into that feature that is actually called my company so let me let, let me let me see you there in that fourth video that is going to be taking us through my company and we'll see how we can be able to adjust some of the things that are there we we'll see you there